Hey guys, what's up? Summit MTV here, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at 2023's Trek Marlin Gen 2 lineup. All the Trek Marlin Gen 2 bikes are made using the same basic Marlin frame, which you'll see throughout the video. We're going to start off with Trek's lowest end Marlin, the Trek Marlin 4, which has the lowest specification of all bikes here, but is also the most budget friendly. On the Trek Marlin 4, you have front and rear derailleurs. On the rear, you have Shimano's Tourney EF500 7-speed derailleur, which is entry level, but still provides you with a good ratio. On the front, however, is Shimano Tourney TY300 with 3 speeds. This means you're going to have 21 ratios to go through. 3 speeds on the front isn't great for climbing efficiency, but with 7 in the rear, it comes close enough. The tires are going to be the Bontrager XR2 Comp wire bead tires. Bontrager is Trek's in-house brand, and these are the tires that you're going to see on all the bikes in this video, excepting the last one, the Trek Marlin 8. For the brakes, Trek has provided the Tektro MDM 281 mechanical disc brakes, with 160mm in the front and 160mm in the rear. 160mm is kinda small, but seeing as this is an XC oriented bike, you're not gonna need such big rotors. On to the fork, which is an SR Suntour XCE 28 coil spring fork with a preload. Preload means you can harden the fork for the uphill so you don't get sag as you pedal. Next is the Trek Marlin 5. The Trek Marlin 5 has higher specification than the Trek Marlin 4. Likewise, the Trek Marlin 6 has higher specification than the 5, and so on. On the rear, we have the Shimano Altus M310 with 8 speeds. This is a step up from Trek Marlin 4's 7 speeds, meaning you're going to get more climbing efficiency and better ratios from the smallest gear to the largest. For the front derailleur, we also have Shimano Altus, the M315, with 2 speeds. The smaller cogs here are going to help with climbing efficiency and improving the ratios on the rear. Once again, we have the Bontrager XR2 Comp wire bead tires. Brake wise, we have a big step up from the Trek Marlin 4 with hydraulic disc brakes instead of mechanical. The brakes are the HD M275 with 160mm front and rear. The fork is going to be the SR Suntour XCT30 coil spring with a preload and a lockout. XCT is only a small step up from the Force XCE in that it performs just that little bit better. Moving on to the Trek Marlin 6. This is the first bike in our lineup to have a one by drivetrain, meaning only one cog in the front, and no derailleur. The benefits of a one by drivetrain include less clutter in your cockpit, and the fact that you can get better ratios in the rear. You can get a bigger cassette, meaning your biggest gear will be even bigger. On the rear, you're going to have the Shimano Dior M5120, which is going to give you 10 speeds. Again, we have the same Bontrager tires that we saw before. The brakes are going to be a small step up in performance, being the Tektro HD M275 hydraulic disc brakes with 160mm in the front and rear. Still small, but remember, this is an XC oriented bike. The fork is going to be the same as on the Trek Marlin 5, the SR Suntour XCT30, which is a coil spring with preload and a hydraulic lockout. From here, we move on to the Trek Marlin 7. This is where you're really going to notice the difference in specification. With a RockShox fork, Shimano brakes, a Shimano derailleur, this is the step up to the Trek Marlin 8, the most high-end Marlin bike. Again, this bike has a one-by drivetrain, meaning no extra cogs in the front. On the rear, however, we have a Shimano Dior M5120, which gives you 10 speeds. The tires are the XR2 Comp, yet again. The brakes, then, are going to be a big step up from the old Tektro brakes. These are the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, and instead of 160mm, we get 180mm front and rear, which is going to help with heat dissipation. The fork is going to be a RockShox Duty coil spring with preload and lockout. The RockShox fork is overall going to be more sturdy than the Suntour fork, and already a big step up. Now we come to the Trek Marlin 8, Trek's highest specification Marlin bike, and the only bike here 
not to feature the XR2 Comp wire bead tyres. A huge step up from the previous bikes, this bike features a SRAM SX Eagle 12 speed drivetrain, meaning it has 52 teeth as its highest gear, giving you insane climbing ability, and 11 teeth as its smallest gear, giving you extremely fast downhill speeds. The tyres are going to be the Maxxis Ardent Race, which come tubeless ready and have Maxxis XO casing for extra durability in the sidewall. The brakes are not much of a step up from the Trek Marlin 7, being the same brakes, the Shimano MT200 hydraulic disc brakes, giving you 180mm front and rear. Probably the biggest upgrade on this bike is going to be the RockShox Judy Silver Air Fork, giving you rebound adjustment and hydraulic lockout, as well as a preload. The specification on these bikes was as listed on Trek's US website, but if you live in the UK, there are going to be a few differences, but they are not major and they do not affect the bike's performance. Main differences will be on the drivetrain, on the tyres, and on the fork. That's it for this video, but please consider subscribing and stick around for the next one.